Okay, so we are in 5.1. And it's just review because this is the ready problems. But we're going to do problems 6 through 9, which is about circumference, area, volume, surface area. Um, let's see. So it says calculate the circumference of a circle. And if the radius measures this, use pi equals to 3.14. So the very first thing that I want to remind you of is a bunch of formulas. So um, let's, let's do formula review first. So here's my random bit of formulas. See, yeah, you see it. Okay. So the circumference is pi d, or I like to say pi d, or 2 pi r, which if you think about it, since the, the diameter is twice the radius, that makes sense, right? So what the circumference is, is if you literally took a tape measure and you like measured around the circle, the rim of a um, the cup, you know, the top of the cup, it's circular, that would be the circumference, okay? The actual circle, right? The length of that circle. That's, some people call it the length of that circle. Okay, that's what circumference is. It says to calculate the area. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. Um, just a reminder, radius is from center to circle. Diameter is from circle to circle through the center. And um, the area of the circle, just imagine if I covered a circle in tiny little post-its, they're asking how many post-its would it take? And you're like, uh, Ms. Johnson, post-its are square. They're not round. Um, pretend that I cut the, I could cut those post-its up in however way I want so that I can cover it in post-its. Um, this one says the volume of a ball, which is also known as a sphere. So the volume of a ball, so if if I'm talking about volume, I'm now using cubes. I'm going to fill this ball up with cubes, which sounds really funny. Again, you can cut the cubes up in any shape you want. So the volume um, is four thirds pi r cubed. And this is something I always have to like actually look up because I'm just, um, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I just looked it up and I am right. Yay. Um, so four pi r cubed. Um, if you're like, oh, Ms. Johnson, squared, cubed, what is it? So notice that in the linear measurement, right, for a circumference, you're using tiny little, like, really tiny, po uh, not post-its, uh, toothpicks, right? I'm using toothpicks to measure. So it's only, it's a length of one. There's only one dimension. So it's R. If I'm measuring the area, it's going to be R squared because I need little tiny post-its, like little tiny squares. If it's volume, I need cubes. Therefore, it's cube, cubic, cubed, right? Um, what else did they ask for? The surface area. Ooh, did I do that wrong? No, no, I did volume. So then the surface area, I believe is, I think it's 4, four pi R squared surface area of the sphere. Ms. Johnson, do we have to memorize this? Nope. You do not have to memorize this. Um, so I'm going to write um, surface area because I don't want to write area again because I don't want you to be confused. Surface A equals to 4 pi r squared. And this is the way my brain thinks about it, just so you know how goofy my brain is. If you've ever looked at like a softball or a baseball and you look at how it's stitched, do you guys know, know what I'm talking about? Like the stitching goes like this. You guys know, oh, it's not showing up. Hold on. So the stitching on a baseball kind of looks like this. You know what I'm talking about? And if you lay this flat, now again, I am I am challenged, right, by drawing. So pretend the stitching looks something like this. Oops. Pretend this looks like a the stitching, and it's two of these. I pretend that these are a bunch of circles. So I have one circle here, another circle here, and then they take another one of these, and they, you know, they attach it here, right? And so that is a circle. So I think that is where I get my four pi r squared. That's the way my brain remembers it in case you're wondering. But here, here's all the formulas that you'll need to know here. And then, then we're just going to go through. So it says calculate the circumference. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write out my circumference formula. So C equals to pi d equals to 2 pi r. And I'm going to use whichever one that they give me. It says if the radius is 8 inches. 
So then I'm going to go here to this one. So 2 pi times 8 and whatever that is, 16 pi. And then they want me to calculate it using 3.14. So I'm going to take out my handy dandy calculator. Uh, I'm actually going to use this one because this one's better. So I go 2 times 3.14 times 8 equals 50.24. So I'm going to use the about symbol for this. Um, or the approximate symbol for this, um, and then I'm going to write inches, right? The reason why I'm using the approximate symbol is because I rounded, I rounded pi. Here's my exact answer, equals to, exactly equal to 16 pi, and then you'll see as soon as this thing sinks, um, the rest of my answer, 50.24, again, using the approximate symbol. It says calculate the area of the circle in problem six. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull over this area formula. So this goes A equals to pi R squared equals to pi times eight squared. I'm actually going to take that whole thing and plug it into my calculator, right? So here goes that. I'm going to put, I'm going to go 3.14 times eight. Uh, I can't see to the second. Enter. So there's your answer, um, which makes sense because this is about 64, 60-ish times three gives me about 180. So it's a little bit more because we have a little bit more here and here. So again, approximately 200.96 inches squared. Um, I am kind of a stickler for inches squared and inches because 200 what doesn't make sense, right? You need inches squared. Um, you need 200.96 little tiny post-its. That's all it's saying. The next one says calculate the volume of the ball. So again, I'm using this. Oh, they gave me my formulas here. Huh. Okay, so there's my formulas. So I go V equals to four thirds pi times um, the diameter is 16. So they want you to mess up here right? They want you to mess up. No one wants the diameter. Everybody wants a radius. So I'm going to go cut that in half. So it's eight cubed. So again, I'm going to plug that into my handy dandy calculator. Um, let's see, I'm going to do it all at once. Four thirds times uh, pi, which is 3.14, they're saying, and then times eight to the third there's my equation. I don't know if you could see it. 4 divided by 3 times 3.14 times 8 to the third. I hit enter. Dun, da, da, dun, and there's my answer. It's about 2,143.57 inches cubed. Inches cubed. Okay, so that should be showing up. Last but not least, calculate the surface area. So here, surface area is this formula here. So I'm going to write it down. I write A is equal to 4 pi R squared equals to 4 pi, and then R, whatever that is, is squared. And it says, use the ball in problem 8. So my radius was 8. So um, then I just put an 8 here, and then I calculate it. Where's my calculator? I'll plug this in again. So 4 times 3.14 times 8 to the second gives me dun, 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 803.84. So about 800. Oh, no, this is not about. My bad. Oh, no, this is still about because my pi is an approximate. 803.30, no, 84. Inches squared. Jonathan, how do you know it's inches squared? Um, if you actually think about it, um, if I put in, so four doesn't have a unit, pi doesn't have a unit. I can stick in my little inches in here, right in here. And you can literally see how inches also get squared and you get inches squared. For those of you who are in chemistry right now, there's a section you, what you will go over called stoichiometry which talks about units all the time. So same thing goes here. If I stick a little inches in here, inches cubed gives me inches cubed. That looks like M, but that's an inches, inches cubed, right? Same thing goes here. And why isn't this one? Because there's no squaring, right? It's just two pi times pi times eight. 
So that's why it just stays as inches. So there's your um, review for surface area, volume, all of those things. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Hopefully you're like, ah, oh, I totally remember doing this now. Of course, right? 